Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we have a very special show. We have an unveiling of um, a new game by Bob DeCrescenzo. Yes. <laughs> it's just a sneak peek, though. Just a tiny little peek. Um, what is that humming? What is that humming? <laughs> we don't hear any humming. I don't hear any humming. Hey, crazy audio interference. Oh, no. Oh, uh, why? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't hear it, and I don't see it. Buzz. Massive buzzing. Okay. Well, we just crashed. It's his Vectrix. <laughs> they're up there. They're, uh, I, don't think, yeah. I don't think they're on. He's, he's routing Lots Vectrix through the audio system now. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, um, man. Oh, you know what? It could be that. Did it go away? It going. Anyone? We'll have Anyone? to see about 10, 10 seconds later. No, it didn't go away. Buzzing? Uh, no, no. No, it's still here. No. Okay, yeah, I thought it was a video game and I muted it. Um, could be desktop audio? Nothing showing that it's buzzing. Um, that's unfortunate. Charger. I can't hear anything. Damn, AirPods. <laughs> I ran out of juice. Oh. Let's listen to it live. Anyway, um, while we sort out the uh, issues that happened. Yeah. <laughs> and you're missing the cat cam, too. Someone was pointing out. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. This is what happens when you suddenly have to reboot your whole computer. <laughs> yes. Oh, the buzz stopped. Oh. Go on. Oh, that's weird. It could have been mm. the... the um, Yeah, we'll get the cat cam going. I think I can get that going pretty easy. It is quieter, some people are saying. Lower buzzing, not going. What is going <laughs> Lower on? Lower buzzing? Uh, I'm going to turn off the mic for a second. You tell okay, so when That's I turned fine. off the mic... Uh... Yes, mic. Yes. The mic was buzzing? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well. There's not much to do about that. Is there an input? Oh, I know it. I can do something. How about that? When you tap to the top of it. Wow, that is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Came back when you tapped the mic. Um, nope, is above the mic. Back, worse than ever. Popping. Okay, let's just do something drastic. Oh, I can actually see the noise. <laughs> Sign language. Okay. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, one second. something and plug it back in. Oh my god. This is where start the show. It's a comedy of errors today. <laughs> Buzz gone when you unplugged it, but it came right back. Yep. It still does. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Check something out here. You guys might be hearing audio from something you shouldn't be hearing the audio from. Does it, sound, does it sound terrible? Like absolutely terrible sound? Oh, uh, no, that's right. Uh, yes, it's terrible. <laughs> yes, it's pretty bad. Okay, let's rebuild this thing. From the Is it microphone. this connection? Maybe? Oh. Cats, you're in trouble. 
Yes, that is the cause. Everyone's in agreement. Okay. I think it's gone. Gone. So all I had to do is unplug this. Ridiculous. It probably got pulled out. I blame the cats still. Yeah, cats. It's quiet now. Bad, bad cats. cats. Bad cats. Okay. Should I restart the show? That was terrible. <laughs> Just start from the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. To Page Humber, your best source for the newest Atari games yeah. and the loudest buzzing you've ever heard. Yeah. Um, tonight we have back. two and a half games. I thought I said back. Oh, phew, man. Bad, bad cats. Yeah. S. Ramirez, uh, no, that's not funny. It's back. <laughs> That's not funny. That is the weirdest thing. I've never seen that happen where a microphone, it has no electronic inducing parts. There's Something no power to it. Something must have been loose it. or some, yeah. some loose connection. Yeah. Um, so tonight we have, uh, no cat cam, but I'll fix that. We have Astro Fighter from Bob Taker's Enzo and also Frenzy slash Berserk from Bob as well. Oh, awesome. Um, and we also have a, a super secret unveiling yeah. of a game he's working on yeah and we get a sneak peek of it of what uh what it is yeah. um so i'm gonna put it out to you guys if you can guess what it is Ooh. and don't tell them <laughs> yeah <laughs> if don't you know. don't confirm it bob if they actually do guess yes um because that's not fun uh fun <laughs> is guessing and then we'll see who's right mm -hmm. um i want to thank all the twitch subscribers who uh suffer through buzzing noises and still support us anyway. Armscar, <laughs> Armscar Coder, Atari Age, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Canadian Tenor, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Chive Five, Crossbow, Dan ABC, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Great Defender, Great Ums, Ground Trooper, Azure Rapper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Crocko, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat, Quahog, uh, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, Fiji, Retro Seller Man, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Square, S. Ramirez, the D Train, the Welsh Man, Tiki Dan, K Track, MD, VHZC. And Zebby Zebchi. And also, um, there are some people who resubbed just before the show Carl G, Al Nefer, and S. Ramirez. Yay, thank you so much for you. resubbing. If you don't see your name down the side, but you want it there, but you want it there yeah. or it's supposed to be there, mm -hmm. just make sure you hit subscribe mm -hmm. and it'll be there uh, next show. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to thank all the people in the chat who are joining us tonight. I can't speak that fast. <laughs> Um, uh, Rod Kessler, Al Nefer, Carl G, Ed, EDF, 2025, uh, Vitoko, S. Ramirez, uh, Charles, Whelan, Pac-Man Plus, mm -hmm. who's our, who is our, uh, uh special guest yes. tonight. Um, Which so if you have awesome. any questions about his games, um, uh, he's in the chat, yes. um, uh, watching, uh, Nostalgic, uh, Phaser Cat Games, Crossbow, uh, who is, uh, now on vacation. Oh, nice. So he's relaxing and watching the show. Oh, thank you. So on vacation for a week. <laughs> uh, Metal Lunar. Who else? Danny VC, if I haven't said that. Miss Command. Um, yeah, I think I got them all for now. Yeah, everything was not working before the show. It was unbelievable. I couldn't get the chat working. I couldn't get Twitch to give me the subscriber names. You couldn't get me here on time. I couldn't get you here on time. <laughs> I couldn't get the poll working. Like oh. all those things were not working. Oh. And then the computer crashed as Just, soon as we started broadcasting. Yeah. Well, as soon as we switched to start live broadcasting. Yeah. yeah. Oh um, my God. Some it days. was just yeah. everything. Yeah. And the crashing i don't know what what happened it's the ghost in the machine. it's when i switched to the intro and it's like what intro yeah <laughs> crash just complete crash and the computer crashed too yeah. not at first it was obs then the computer yeah so uh let's go to the poll first <laughs> payment was received and everything's <laughs> good now <laughs> yeah and i like the other joke where um a canadian's metric and the u.s is imperial and, and there was a translation issue yeah, yeah. <laughs> just crashes yeah uh but everything's back Except for my uh, tabs of things that I talk about, but that's okay. So let's start the poll. Yeah, it worked. Okay, the poll is: How do you like your new homebrew games? How do you like new homebrew games represented in terms of scan lines while playing them? You know what scan lines are? I do. It's, I don't really know the like the options that right. well, but I do. <laughs> um, yeah. There, it's it's on CRTs. Yeah. 
you know, the, the, the electrons fired at a phosphor mm -hmm. and it was fired at in horizontal lines. Mm -hmm. And those horizontal lines weren't, you know, like smushed together perfectly. So there was, you know, slight dips in to black in between each of the mm -hmm. lines. So it gave a very distinct look to it. Yeah. Um, now I'm talking about new homebrew games, not games that came out a long time ago that were made with scan lines intended like built in so that they were supposed this isn't going to be a poll. <laughs> this is going to be a landslide a massacre <laughs> yeah. um so new homebrew games like that it's a little dependent on whether the developer is developing for crts or they're or developing not. or not yeah that's true um so one the options are one crt tv you can't emulate real phosphor <laughs> so that means you like playing them on CRTs. You like that that look of it. Mm -hmm. um, number two is modern TV slash upscaling slash emulation without scanline filters. So that is the way we play okay. for various reasons. Okay. Um, where there's a pixel, it is sharp, sharp corners. Yeah. It's it's perfectly square. There's no blooming there's no rounding but do you like there's that no because lines. you want it to look kind of pure to the programming if, if that makes sense a little bit yeah yeah i i just like the look of it i yeah. don't mind that harsh sharp the, the, look the to sharpiness it. Yeah. I, I love the sharpiness. it's a pixel or it's not a pixel yeah <laughs> i just i just like it even yeah. though 2600 games are a lot bigger pixels than everything else. I like S. Ramirez. I will go down with my CRTs. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When the CRTs die, S yep. it's the That's end it. for, of no S. More Ramirez. Gaming. Yeah. <laughs> and number three, modern TV slash upscaling emulation with scanline filters. Mm. Um, and that's the smoothing like you see the smoothing of well it kind of rounds things yeah. sometimes there's, but it's different right there are different modes and different there's options there's tons of different yeah. modes so you can emulate really thick scan lines really thin ones there's really advanced that actually f emulate the look of CRTs mm. because some of them just add black bars in between mm. every scan line but some of them go really far and like 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 if you have a dot just one dot on the screen it won't just be a square it won't be even be a circle it'll kind of glow a little bit yeah so, so it'll softens. have soft and yeah. round edges but um um and and even like the uh retro tank has scanline uh filters built into it mm -hmm. and you can you can turn them on and make them look different but uh each one has various looks to it but anyway that's that's the poll i will vote Number two, um, I really never paid attention to scan lines. I like the crisp clearness of everything. Mm. Um, but somebody like, I don't like, and I don't like artificial scan lines either. Yeah. If, if I'm going to play a game, I would play it on CRT with scan lines. Yeah. I don't think I'd ever turn it on with emulated scan lines. No! <laughs> four. There is no four. Some option that I guess I didn't put in. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a big landslide. Someone asked if you can pick more than one. Uh, yeah, you can go, uh, one space two. Yeah. You have to, you have to put a space between them. Yeah. Okay. Commas don't work. Yeah. It doesn't explain that very well. Yeah. But, okay. We'll look at the poll in a little bit. Mm. We have some, uh, mail, Ooh, mail to open. I don't know what it is. I think I know what some are. This is always exciting. Can you change votes too late? <laughs> uh, no, you can't. Unless minus. You can invalidate your votes. You can go one, two, and three. True. And just nullify your options. Vote early <laughs> and vote often. Yes. Mind you, you sort of reduce the value of other people's votes when you do that too. So this is from Globistics. This is from eBay. Uh, oh yes, yes. Okay, games. That's fraud. <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, joystick extenders but they're not the normal joystick extenders i buy because i'm full of those already those are on the floor there that you can't see because the cap cam's not up these are 15 pin joystick extenders oh. and oh. i bought three of them mm -hmm. um actually should have bought more maybe um but i don't think i need more um these are for dual purpose what two of these are for an Atari 5200 because this is what they use. 
this number of pins, 15 pin. Uh, and one of them is actually for my XEGS because they use the same number of pins for the keyboard because the keyboard oh, only so goes... so you can pull the keyboard out. So I can bring the keyboard here for the XEGS. Uh, yes. Smart. Console 5 is now sold out of these cables. Arg. It was actually challenging to find these. Yeah. yeah, a set of 5200 extension cables. So I've got three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Console 5 is now sold out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a little yeah. tricky. James apparently got all of them. <laughs> yeah, I bought them all. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I got these from Console 5, because <laughs> probably because they were sold out. He also has a horde of um, of, of uh, chips uh, that... Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't have any chips. Yeah, I have, I have all the chips. Yeah. <laughs> For all the cars. All the cars, all the computers. Buy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we wouldn't have a constantly... Um, yeah, if I crashing computer if that were the case that's so. true i'd be selling those chips and oh yeah we living in a bigger house yeah true <laughs> uh this is from retro game boys yeah. apparently um which uh they make a lot of joysticks mm -hmm. and i don't know what this is i've forgotten oh it's just oh no 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 this is very specific um, what these are is the extension of the XEGS keyboard documented. Have you tested the XEGS? Seems like some min, uh, pins are missing. Um, I've researched those um, particular cables. Those particular cables. There are no pins missing on those cables, so it's the full pin set. Yeah, but we will test it out. We will. It just hasn't happened yet. <laughs> so this is nine pin uh, to nine pin. Okay. With nine to nine. Um, with a Y adapter. Now what this actually does is specifically for the ColecoVision. Okay. So you, what you do is you plug this end into the Coleco mm -hmm. and then you can plug this into one of them and a Coleco controller into the other. So, so you can use all the buttons on the Coleco, like the number buttons. But a better joystick. But you can use um, a joystick, oh. any jo nine pin joystick you want at the same time. Nice. Uh, does it support two buttons? Y yes, it does support two buttons, I believe. Atari 7800 support. So this is super, super awesome for Coleco. So that you have options. And that was from Retro Game Boys, if you have a need for those weird, weird, obscure cables. Yep. Uh, I thought the XGS had an issue with color. It should be industrial. Oh, my XGS? My XGS is broken right now. Uh, joystick would make the Coleco playable. Exactly. Exactly. Now I just need third-party joysticks for the Intellivision. Mm. Then I'd be more inclined to play the Intellivision. <laughs> um, that would be amazing. Uh, you know that a lot of CV games will also allow the second controller to be used for buttons while the, using a standard controller in the first port. I did not know that. I guess that's game dependent. What is this? Oh, this is just, this is something I've looked for for a long time. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it'll be good either. Um, normally when we have retro game night, I use a VCR to hook up old game systems to monitors and TVs. Um, but I've been looking for a much smaller solution because, you know, the old VCRs are huge. And it is this, which is uh, an RF2, I believe, composite converter. Mm. So instead of a massive VCR, all you have is wow. this tiny little box oh my gosh yes well actually it's hdmi output rf2 hdmi yeah mm -hmm. so it skips the whole thing of um and it actually has um channel buttons yes yeah, super cute so mm -hmm. tiny <laughs> so you just plug the uh antenna plug in here okay and uh then you get hdmi out so I don't know if this is going to be good or decent or going to be total garbage, but it probably is going to be total garbage. But what I've read, it's fine. It's, it's fine? decent. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this off of eBay, I think. It's called the Analog TV Signal 
to AV or HD receiver. Oh. So good luck finding that. <laughs> <laughs> There's like so many different clones of that. Mm. So it's hard to tell what's good, what's bad. Not a fan of composite modding systems. Um, I, I, I have most of them composite or up modded. Mm. But sometimes there's a couple ones that I bring out that, that may not you have just it. don't have it. Yeah. Or I need to bring out two if there's a competition going on and one of them isn't modded. Isn't modded. Yeah. yeah. That makes but sense. But I'm pretty sure yeah. I've got um, everything modded now. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, so, yep, we're going to be playing Astro Fighter mm -hmm. first, then getting to Bob's new game reveal. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, so keep guessing. I, I totally missed all the guesses. Oh, uh, <laughs> there are a few at the front. Was... Maybe people sh can repeat their guesses. Yeah. Uh, if, if they, if they Let's dropped see. it in before. Here Glow we go. Here, here 13, we go. Adventure 3. Adventure 3, Gogo 13, Pack and Pal, Packland. A lot of Pac-Man because he's done every <laughs> Pac-Man. Pac <laughs> Maybe there's only a couple packs that he hasn't done. Yeah. Alex Defender. Kidd in 7800 Land. Uh, Defender, Doom. That'd be quite the thing. Yeah. Uh, iRobot. Uh, Doom. <laughs> Lots of Doom. There we go. Uh, I think that's all the the uh, guesses right now. A lot of Pac Man's and Doom. Phoenix. Ooh, that'd be a good one too. Um, it is for the seven eight hundred, of course. Okay, so let's get to the first game. Oh. Um, yes. Your cat cam isn't oh, working, so yes. you might want to just quickly flip cats. that on before we. Uh, there are cats. There are loafing near cats the cam. here, and I don't know if they deserve treats, but at some point they may want them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh! Something flashed, and oh. the cat cam is a little mis mispointed, but. Um, oh, it's reflecting off the screen. Do you want me to adjust nope, it? No, I'll do it. Oh. I don't want to do it. I know how to. It's easier. Well, I've, I've adjusted it, too. There's a kitty. There are a couple of kitties. There's a kitty. Now Aww. you get to see the kitties. Lucky so cats. let's take a look at Astro Fighter Wrecking Crew. That would be very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean like the the uh, Nintendo Wrecking Crew with Mario in it? <laughs> You'd be very brave to do that. Mm -hmm. Anything with Mario in it is, is a brave thing to do. Okay, oh. so we're going to take a look at Astro Fighter. Oh, nothing's dinging, though. Yeah, everything's all screwed up. Oh, no. Oh, desktop audio is off. So there we go. Um, no, it didn't come up on the screen either, I don't think. Are you sure? I don't know. It should have. I don't know. Things are broken, but it's treat time. Yay. Treat, ding, 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 ding. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that got him moving. <laughs> treat time for cats. Yeah. Oh, kitty. Okay, hold on. So while well, the cats get fed... Um, Astro Fighter is a space shoot 'em up game released in the arcades in 1979. Um, it was developed and distributed by uh, Data East in Japan and was distributed in North America by Sega. And there were, are no officially uh, released versions of this on any platform oh, ever. Really? really? Yeah, so that's um, a good thing that he. Uh, he did it, and he, he's done a lot of really early space shooters. Uh, set up is cursed. Need to play Haunted House and Ghost Manor to clear the curse. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so, I can't do anything while Cat Cam's on, which uh, is unfortunate. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, yeah, it's still on. Yeah, it's in the corner there. Uh, oh, I have to set up the second monitor anyway. It's being naughty. Yeah, of course. that's okay. It's the cats are... Hey, that wasn't yours. Here, there we go. Yours. Okay, so let's take a look at the arcade version of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he says, gimme. Desktop audio is on, okay. And it's, it's really amazing how well Bob is able to capture the look of this game so well. Everybody can see that. Nice. Let's skip ahead to actual gameplay. Uh, oh, this looks gameplay. Is there audio of this? Oh, there's the actual gameplay. 
So, space shooter, shoot, shoot the things on the screen. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Nice katakana logo, logo yes. Yeah. Um, this, I couldn't find an English version of this. Anybody playing it on, um... Uh, a MAME system. English version. Yeah. yeah. Only the only the Japanese one. But that's fine. It's the same gameplay except for the intro screen. So it's like shoot shoot all the things. Yeah. Um and there's like one, two, three, four, and then the boss wave. So let's just skip ahead to the boss wave. So you guys can see the arcade. There's the boss wave. Fireballs are shootable. Yes, they are. This is the boss wave. Yep. Nice. And then you get refilled. Oh, this person just, just, just made, made it. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very cool. Um, and this was debuted at the Atari Age booth at the Classic Game Fest uh, over the July 25th, 26th, 2015 weekend. And actually, somebody took video of it. Um, uh, so you you're yep. got the cats back on. That's yep, okay. I've set up yep. the video. No, no, just making sure. So here it is. In 2015, at its debut at the Atari Age booth. Nice. There we go. You can see the stacks there as well. <laughs> Thomas Yench's game. There we go. Uh, so, I think it's time to get to it. Let's switch over to the game. Oh, hopefully everything works properly. And there's audio. Yeah, it looks like there's audio. Okay, so I think it's just you just press the button and go for it. Oh, there you go. So skill level, easy, normal. Yep. Lives five, maybe. So okay. you can practice. One player. Five? Yep. Okay. And uh, yeah, go for it. Shoot everything. And you can shoot the fireballs coming down, too. <laughs> Well, I go through all the information. Crespo says, really need to send you one of my Chroma Fix boards. That would be uh, super awesome. If it's easy to install. Otherwise, I'll just wreck my 7800. Uh, you have to shoot those before they go off the screen. <laughs> or do that. Or, or... You have five lives. Because yeah. if they go past the screen... Broken. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everything's breaking today. Yeah, good times. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't like it when you um, <sighs> run into the very last ship. <laughs> yeah. That's very oh interesting. You really pay for getting hit right at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole thing's over. So Pac-Man Plus uh, posted July 26th. And he said, hey guys, here's Astro Fighter for your enjoyment. A bit of warning, hard it, da mode is downright evil. Yeah. Yay. Uh, from the Astro Fighter uh, page on the Atari Age source, Astro Fighter is a two-dimensional space shoot-em-up arcade game released in 1980. It was developed and published by Data East in Japan and was published outside Japan by Gremlin Sega. Programmer Robert De Crescenzo has now brought Astro Fighter to life on the 7800. <laughs> this is when you claim it's an accurate reproduction of a bug in the arcade. <laughs> yeah, he's got the look of the game perfect from the arcade. Ooh, I like the high fighters. Um. Yeah. Ah. One more. Come on. Oh, he's ah. running away. There you go. Astro Fighter is a one or two player game of space adventure. Two players may take turns competing for the high score. The player's warship faces meteor showers interspersed with four lines of enemy to force defense forces in an effort to reach the master and destroy it. Besides the challenges of fighting ability, the player warship has expended... Yeah, you move up one level if they get past you, making it much more challenging. It always hurts when they find a bug in the first 10 seconds. 
Oops. <laughs> Oops. Get them. Coming down. Oh, they're, so oh, they're coming down. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. What? Use a, you lose a life? Apparently. No, because oh, the, no, the fireball hit me, but it was kind of far. Oh, the fireball hit yeah. you. Oh, you're running what? out of fuel now. Oh, no. Did you set it to easy? Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Why are the, there so many? You have to you do, have to do the wave again? all over again. Oh, my God. My God, the game is six years old. Nobody reported a bug, and they find it in the first ten seconds. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I mean, it's... it's Oh, I'm dead. I guess it's fairly cool. rare that you would crash into the last guy? Maybe not. On easy? <laughs> yeah, on easy. I don't know what conditions set up that... Yeah. There's all the points. Want me to go again? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You begin the game with five or three or five lives and receive a bonus life on reaching a score of 5,000. 60 points are received for reaching, shooting the six of the falling bombs, and you receive 950 points for hitting the GS ship accurately on the first shot. Good luck. Right into oh. it. Right into it. Tanya's Terrible. just that good. No bugs will get past her. <laughs> no, she got it. Yeah. She got all the bugs. When you die immediately on easy, you catch all the bugs. Because they're like, no one's going to die on easy in the first <laughs> right. wave. Like, how bad do you have to be at this game? <laughs> That's right. Like, that would just never get tested. It would never thing. get tested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great at finding the bugs on the easy bugs. Oh, please note, the more you shoot, the more your fuel depletes. Oh. That, that's a good hint. Thank you, Pac-Man Plus. <laughs> that might explain some of the issues that we had. We're running out of fuel, yeah. I think the game is over when you run out of fuel. Oh, you, it's not uh, just you lose a life. Oh, I see. Because the whole thing is yeah, based on your fuel. Because when you die, you come back with the same fuel level. Ah! Yes, that's right. Good one. Ah! Those, These guys are so hard. Though so dodgy, but they don't go off the screen, which is handy. There we go. Phasers draw power from the warp engine. Apparently. You're in the line. <laughs> Shush. Shush you. <laughs> oh, oh, just caught you. Fatoka says, I got 2,840 points on my first try in default mode. Good job. Two more. Oh, big well, bad bug time. What am time. I doing with this guy Just again? shoot him. Just shoot him. That looks awesome. Great colors on there. You got lots of fuel, so it's not too bad. Yay! Seizure mode! <gasps> Seizure mode. <laughs> and you get filled up. Hurrah! Yay! Uh-oh, Vitoko. Tanya's just about beat you. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not her first game. No, it's not. <laughs> My first game, I died. On the first wave of easy... Ah, stop it! Oh! Oh, no! Better than crashing. Oh, no, it's not. No. <laughs> you lose all your gas. Yeah. Well, you lose your gas anyway. Maybe it's better to just self-sacrifice in that case. Uh, well, you lose life, so I don't know. Do you get any lives back? No. Not that I know. <sighs> Maybe. Oh, Vidoka didn't get to the boss. Oh, a good score without getting to the boss, though. Oh, she beat you. <laughs> you have to play again. <laughs> S. Ramirez says... 15,530. So that's your next goal. <laughs> you only have to get five times as much. S. Ramirez isn't a very good player. Oh, he's so terrible. I'm sure you, you can just <laughs> beat that in this game, no problem. <laughs> S. Ramirez says you can do it. <laughs> it's nice to see more Atari on Twitch. Exactly right. There definitely is not enough Atari on Twitch. I think there's just this, basically. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Well, that's dedicated no, to Atari. Not dedicated, yeah. yeah. There are a lot of retro. People play it once in a while. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't get over it. That's a, that's a hard level. The first the ah. first level and this one are hard. The other ones are not so bad. Oh, you're missing oh, so much. I know. They're in a row. You shouldn't move after you hit the first one. No, because I, okay. I, 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 I'm mistiming Actually, my... Actually, we can play back and forth. I'm mistiming my shots because... Two players. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm mistiming my shots because I'm thinking I'm hitting the button twice, but it's not ready to shoot again, oh. if you know what I mean. Steve. That's what I keep doing. You should shoot them before they crash into you, Carl says. <laughs> Thanks. Pro Thanks, Carl. Pro tip. <laughs> it's pro tip right there. Uh-oh. I'm going to go after the other one. There you go. Nice. I know others who stream Atari 8-bit computers. Oh, I bet there's a bit, bunch of Atari 8-bit. Yeah. yeah. Not a lot of exclusive Atari. A lot of retro. Oh, yeah. Tons of retro. Lots of people play Lots. all different things, too. They just play random. That was lucky. <laughs> okay, you die, too. <laughs> <laughs> The only 7800 on Twitch, Phaser Cat Games. Really? Yeah, nice. Well, it was not as big of a console as 2600 or the 8-bit systems. So I can see that. But we do give uh, equal time to, you know, 2600, 7800, 8-bit. Um, and soon, 5,200. Oh, did... Oh, what happens now? One of them got by. Yeah. This doesn't look good, because he's not coming back. I don't know what that means. I didn't think these guys would go off the screen. They're really hard. They're harder than they seem. Oh, my fuel! Is he coming back? Yes, all of them. Oh, oh my god. Oh, no! <laughs> and it makes you shoot the last ones, too. Yeah, they do look like TIE fighters. I like them. Uh, well, it's 1979, so they're like, yeah. So like, what's popular? Yeah. Put that in the game. <laughs> Got to go crank up the Lynx games next. Yeah, you can get a mod for the Lynx, um, a VGA mod, which uh, Crossbow has installed. So oh boy! No. Oh, I hate it! I hate! I hate it when you can't shoot right away. It always makes me crazy. Oh, you're moving ahead That's... moving forward because you're running out of fuel. Oh boy. No! These guys are really, really causing so trouble. Dodgy. Oh, he went up. That was cheating. I hit him, but he went off the screen. Come on. Ooh, it just, just gave my shot back. Yes. Nope. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, are you sure this is on easy? <laughs> this is so hard. There we go. McWill is the only way for VGA. This is how you pad your score before going to harder levels. Oh, good night, EDF. 3 a.m. in London. Woo. Well, it's a Friday, so it's okay. Oh. Yeah, we uh, missed Tuesday's show. Sorry, everyone. We were going to play this on Tuesday. Oh, you, yeah, you were quite busy with work-related things, so... Yes. That is correct. I was extremely busy. <laughs> but thankfully, I've been working on a project for a month, and I got it done on oh, God. Wednesday Thank night. You. So I have a bit more... Oh, my God, look at the cup. Yeah. <laughs> much fuel left, but I do have some. Get out of the way. It's not a very hard boss to kill. Oh, like running out of fuel. oh my god. No! Oh my god. Terrible! Terrible. I agree, those diagonal shots. Um, so I'll have more free time um, to do things. Oh, you can do it, yes, yes! Oh. You're gonna beat me. You already have beat me in score. Um, speaking of free time, I can use it to organize the. You know, just sit there. <laughs> uh, Tari Homebrew Awards, which are coming up. Not really, but they are. Shoot him! Ah! How much does a shot take off your fuel? 
a significant amount. Yay! Yay! You were just hitting him from the sides, but I think you have to hit him in the middle. Because uh, you kept yeah. hitting him... I don't know. You mean between? Yeah. Oh, in those indents? I, I could be wrong, but... Maybe. Well, who's that beeping? It was her fuel being very low. Mm -hmm. very but it wasn't low. that bad, actually. Yep. Yours, yours went down to zero, so... <laughs> and I exploded. So I ordered the... Trophies. Oh, yeah. Today. Excellent. Same place as last time? Oh, yeah. Time? They do a great job. Order from Texas. They have their yes. Place. And... Place there that does a great job. The borders are open now. <gasps> so we can pick it up down so the we States. we can pick it up in the Ooh, U.S. We just have to get our nose swabbed. go to Trader, or... Joe, Trader Joe's oh. at the same time. Oh, one more. Ah! You did get self -destruct. it. Self-destruct. You did get it. Self-destruct. But we do have to get our noses swabbed. <laughs> or equivalent, whatever. And then we're good for three days? 72 hours? Yeah, apparently. You don't have to do it twice if you no. it goes, if you're down and back within. So the funny thing is you can get it done here, go down there, come back, go down there, and still use the first one you got done in Canada. Um, so... Luckily, I can send those two things now to the P.O. box across the line. Uh -oh. No! They sped up. <laughs> no, it doesn't help! Oh, you die anyway, right? Might as well get that points. No, you don't die, then. That's okay. Crash. Oh, you don't die, yeah. right. That's okay. It just starts over there. <laughs> the 70 editor awards would, should use a little 3D printed 70 editor oh. consoles on them. Or that we would could, be cute. We could buy everyone these beautiful little sets so they can make their own little consoles. <laughs> That's the, expensive. Oh, they're so cute, though. <laughs> they're so cute. Oh, Did the, anyone see? Yeah, yeah. The Lego. The little Lego set that we put together. Oh, and Oh, oh there, we there we go. Move your can thumbs. You see it? I don't, where's, uh, there what's we go. going on there? Um, yeah, a little Lego sets. One, and you can give the 2600 away? Yeah. It would cost a fortune, though. <laughs> It'd be way too would much. Would it? Yeah, All these would. little bits? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you have to order them. them in bulk, I Maybe. Know. It's a lot Just of little bits. Just get them secondhand. Okay. I'm going to play it once more yeah, if you don't want to play it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You play okay. another. You play around. Is that uh, a terrible? Yeah, those 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 uh, Lego sets, because you built it and from... And we had five. You built it from... Uh, scratch, just pieces. From pieces. Um, so from cute. a plan. So cute. They are super cute. Are you looking for more? Uh, yes, I am actually. When I, now I have free time, I yeah. can actually <laughs> put the pieces together. Uh, I'm gonna get a Nintendo one. Yeah. And uh, I can't remember the other ones they had. Because you have to build them <gasps> from plans. Terrible. At least there's only one left. Mm. Uh, 48K Ram wants to know what the sticks are you're using. Or These we are using. are Bratwurst sticks. Yes. Uh, they he offers them on eBay um, and actually through the Atari Age forum. So just look for Bratwurst joysticks, seventy eight hundred joysticks. These are actually two button joysticks. Uh, they are very good quality. I know Bratwurst. That's his name. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, see that, but that's that's Every a time. tactic. That's a tactic. It's a tactic to um, run out of lives. Uh, Crossbow said, and the 5200 trophy should have a crack. Cracked and broken controller covers, too. Well, I have... <laughs> and I, Phaser Cat Games says, quiet you. <laughs> I have six broken 5200 controllers, so I can just give those away. Oh. They're useless and uh, have no worth. <laughs> I'll just embed them in a big block of resin. and there, Here you <laughs> go. <right. laughs> um, yeah, Vitogo says the NES Lego kit has an animated TV set. I think I remember that. Oh, that one. That's, yeah. an, that's an official. The official, NES. like, Mario I will one, not be too, buying right? the official one. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. Very expensive. Yay. That one's not too bad. Oh, no. No, it's working. You just have to hit him quite a few times. Oh, my God. I'm Stop but, following him, right? Well, I just... I just wait until he kind of... He's about to float into my... Yeah, because yeah, he doesn't really... Oh, he does He does stop. go back and forth, but the thing is... He doesn't turn around much, If though. you keep shoot, trying to shoot, you lose a lot more fuel, so... What if I track him? There we go. Yeah. Just watch yeah, out but... for the fireballs. You do lose a little bit over time. Mm, of fuel? Yeah. Because yeah, you're shooting him. 
Nope. God no. Oh, what is he getting mad now? Oh, he doesn't like you. Probably because I'm taking so long to hit him. Why do I? How many times? I think you do have to hit him between those things. Because that took a lot of shots. Thank you, 48k Ram. Good game. Yay, I beat one level. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna play in hard next, mm -hmm. just to show. Oh, See, now they're shooting. Gets? Now they're shooting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how much harder it gets. Oh my god. There we go. Good. Ugh, it goes right, right between them. It's a very uh, good early shooter. Because, I mean, just keep in mind, it, this is some 1979. It. Yeah. <laughs> the very early shooter. It's certainly, it's certainly a little bit more sophisticated and interesting than, like, Space Invaders. And it has a boss. Yeah, yeah a boss. Yeah. Uh, like, there's different patterns what? of movement. I wonder what the first game, and I know someone out there will know this, because yeah. uh, I know nothing. Um, <laughs> what, what the first game that had, like, a boss level. Mm. Because, you know... In the initial games oh, were quite simplistic and were yeah. just one, single had one screen. function, kind of a single screen. Everything's but at some the same point, over and over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wonder. It's a Galaxian release in 79 also. Galaxian is, is pretty advanced. Um, nice. I, I would say it's more advanced. Well, I don't know if it's more advanced than this. There we go. I'm hitting it right between the... Whoa, that was a good... See? Yeah, it only took four shots, and they shot right between up the middle. every single hit. Phoenix had a boss. Yes. What year was Phoenix? Was that uh, earlier or later than this? 79? In the late 70s, I guess? Well? Problem is, dates get really fuzzy <laughs> in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Nobody really kept... 48K RAM. According to my reading, in 1975... D&D, on the Plato system, presented players with the industry's first boss encounter, oh. the Golden Dragon. Was it a text, or was that a graphical-based, um... D&D. Hmm. I bet that's gra uh, text-based. Yeah. I, uh, maybe graphics-based boss. Yeah, that's more That'd what I was more... thinking. That would be more... But, I mean, that's obviously where the, con the concept comes from, those kinds of yeah. fantasy worlds and games. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm very excited now. I, I have to admit, this morning before I left for work, I was watching a review of Dune. Oh, the new one? Yes. Well, don't tell me anything. No, no, okay. no. Don't even say good or bad. No, I, go all it. I want to see is I want to see it. Is That's all okay. I'm going to say. Because it, it's it, so bad, right? It's terrible. <laughs> they they gave it one star, and for that reason, we want I want to go see it. But I just, I, I am very intrigued, more. and I do want to see it. I've never read the book. Have Either you ever one. read the book? No. no I, I have seen... I don't... The Sting version, which is how I always refer to it. I, I enjoyed that one. Uh, uh, was that Lynch? No, that was... Yes. A, it was Lynch. Yeah, David yeah. Lynch. Yeah, the Sting version. And um, and I enjoyed that movie, yeah. but I'd never see, I've never read the source material. Um, so I, I'm curious. I know we're playing video games, Boss but I'm two. curious. Are you as excited as I am to see Dune, like... For the people watching the show, because well, people overseas have seen it. People That's in true. North America haven't. We haven't seen it yet because it just came out. Also, today. French Canadian director. Just have to point that out. Yes. So that's very exciting. <laughs> it doesn't yes. happen. There aren't too many famous Canadian directors. So uh, not too many. Not too many. Oh my God. I mean, Cameron. Cameron's, Cameron's James Cameron's pretty famous. <laughs> that's about it. Ah, Crossbow's gonna try and see it because he's off. Yeah, that's ah. always a nice, a nice reason to go to movies or. Yep. Oh, it's an HBO Max. Yeah. yeah I want to see it in the true. theater. It, yeah, it's, it's the it's, kind of film that I, I do genuinely want to see it on a big screen. With good sound. We'll have to see where it's playing. Actually. Sticky floors. Sticky floors. Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. No, I usually finish my popcorn before the movie begins. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. I buy it. We get there like 45 minutes too early. And then I sit there and I eat all the popcorn and drink all my drink, and then I'm dehydrated for the rest of the movie, but that's okay. That is what the movie-going experience is. Come on. 
Oh, so IMAX crossbow set. All the reviews yes, I, I read IMAX. said it should be seen on the big screen. IMAX preferred. Yep, it is an IMAX. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a huge, like, IMAX or not IMAX. I, I'm not a... It's, I don't it's, have to see it on a, IMAX, but... Um, I mean, it's nice because it's huge. As for uh, mirrors, I may see it more interested in seeing the latest Bond on the big screen. Yeah. yeah. Neo Media loved, loves Doom. The old one? They want to see it. No, no, uh, he, uh, Neo Media, Media said I'm hoping... It seems like it only took two hits. Yeah, that's funny, because sometimes it seemed to take a lot. Maybe you have to, if you hit it right up the middle. Different spots? Yeah. yeah. Level five. Why is there five bugs there? Well, what's the deal with those five bugs? Weird. Yeah. Master Ramirez wants to see Wes Anderson's latest. Yeah. Yeah, he's not in a Wes Anderson fan. I used to be, and I'm like... Yes. Were you ever? Were yep. you really... And it's like, oh, this is all samey, samey. Yeah, I like that. But Russell if you like the I'll see it. things I'll you see, it. see, then samey is good, right? Yeah. It's very specific on where you hit it, Pac Man Plus says. Oh, that's right. So that why. makes sense. That's why it's faster sometimes. Okay. What are you looking at me for? He says more treats, please. Oh. No. Yeah. The bugs stand up the level. It said five. I'm not on level five, am I? You've only no, killed three you bosses. Three bosses. You should be on four. There were five. Oh, 48k ram. Off to bed. Good night. Yes. Have Not going to stay up for the reveal? No. It's like uh, minutes it's okay. away. <laughs> Whatever you miss, you can always watch on YouTube. That's right. Hello, yeah. YouTube people. Hello. Wes Anderson. What is Wes Anderson's latest? I don't know. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Whatever oh. it is, it's center framed and... Quirky. <laughs> and in, in some weird pinkish tone, right? Yeah, yeah. all s pastels. <laughs> so we're going to look at uh, the hard hard level with three lives just really quickly because I'm going to die immediately. Oh, at 48k Rams, like, reveal. <laughs> oh, he does. Uh, oh. No, no, I think that's okay. Uh, I know it's late. Good night. <laughs> the French dis dispatch. Okay. Yeah, I think I have seen I think, I think I've seen that. Oh, my God. Some there's a lot more. Uh, I'm... Uh, speaking of Ask Wes Anderson, oh no! A lot more bullets and a lot more yeah. uh, meteors it's going is this, on. Sorry, are you in hard? No. Yeah. Oh, and you did. You're on hard. Yeah. A lot more bullets. And this is level one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I believe the fuel goes down faster. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh. His dying wish was to see me die. <laughs> that is that is their uh, purpose. Yeah. Your look raise, at the raison raison d'etre is to is see to see you die. die. Look, Look at, at all the, the bullets! <laughs> wow. Oh, God. They're so low that a bullet is just... Yeah, hard? Good luck. Yeah, no kidding. I made one level. <laughs> okay. Um, super awesome game uh, for an early shooter. Great representation of Beautiful. the arcade game. It yeah. looks exactly mm -hmm. right. Um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, uh, the results of the poll, 65% say CRT TV. Do, okay. you, do you guys actually have CRTs and are playing these games on CRTs, or are you just saying that? I bet, <laughs> I bet they do have CRTs. I bet they do. Um, and 25% uh, upscaled without scan lines or emulated without scan lines. Or, and 10% uh, like artificial scan lines. I didn't think anybody would do that, yeah. but some people do. Yeah. yeah. I still have a CRT, Phaser Cat Games. I do not use a CRT except in the lab, lab. area. Oh, okay. Um, so let's see if anybody's guesses were right on what Pac-Man <gasps> Plus's new game oh, is. Oh, 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 oh. So let's uh, get Are we revealing? things prepared. Yeah, it's reveal oh, time. That's exciting. Now, keep in mind, this is just a sneak peek at it. Is this player one? Label them now. Nope. Makes it a lot easier. Mm. There you go. Oh, you did label them? Yeah. Much easier. Mm. Um, okay. Are we ready? I know it's not Tempest. Oh, that'd be awesome. <gasps> Tempest with a spinner control. Mm. Oh, that'd be so good. Mm. Nobody's made Tempest on 7800, have they? Uh -huh. It's a lot more feasible than uh, 2600, that's for sure. Okay. 
Are you ready? So this is uh, uh, Bob DeCrescenzo's Pac-Man Plus's new game that he's working on currently. So this is going to be the next one, supposedly, that's going to come out. Mm. So here we go. Watch all the flashing craziness here. Drum roll! Ooh. Defender! <laughs> so. Oh, that's exciting. 1980, Williams Electronics, 2021, Bob DeCrescenzo. Carl G's happy. So some people did guess Defender. Yeah. So this is a non-playable version of it, but it's got the attract mode. So there's the little dude. Bring him back down. So you yeah. pretty much get to see how the game looks. It's got the scanner up there. Nice. It's got all the enemies. Lander, yeah. Mutant. Bater, Bomber, mm. Pod, <gasps> and Swarmer. Mm. And uh, have you played Defender before? I, I know I have at yeah. least once, at least some version of it. Yeah. Um, I assume this is this is an arcade game, right? Yeah, arcade yeah I don't game. know if I've ever played in the arcade I or the arcade version. I don't think I've version, played the arcade. I've played the I've, 2600 a lot. I've definitely played a version here on the show right. so i'm not sure i but I, I i don't recall what that would have been 2600 maybe i don't know and you can press the button and it mm. and it does have the the screen as well for the options nice so one, one or two, two players and it fills it in the top very nice uh normal hard easy i mean it doesn't yeah. change anything lives three or five and it changes the lives up there nice humanoid renew level which i'm not sure what that means <laughs> um 10 or 5 yeah 10 or 5 not sure on that whatever normal is <laughs> and um Kenya's played my defenser Fencer. 10 line ten that's line where you that's that's, that that's what be. you're thinking of no and you, and you can press a button and and nothing happens except you lose a life <laughs> i a, noticed that there's a good chance i've played more than one version too so but yes i probably did play the defenser 10 liner hi no. what are you up to i can still hear this he's excited sound. he's excited it's not time yet now, um, this is not hi. Hi. the yes. Pac-Man Plus's first encounter with Defender. Um, so Bob sent it to me the other day. He says, I begin working on this again. Started from scratch and nobody knows that yet. I'm working on it. Mm. Only the full attract mode and select screen is working. We'll start working the guts in the coming weeks. The game, when finished, will fill yet another hole in the 7800 library because there's no Defender, amazingly enough. Um, a game that was released for every other Atari console but this one. So, um, like I said, it's not his first encounter with Defender. So back in 2006 and 2007, he made a great hacked version of Defender 2 slash Stargate uh, for the 2600, actually. Hmm. Um, and, to, and he made it into a more accurate Defender. He said, hello all, I started changing random values in Defender 2 ROM. I think I'm well on my way to getting Defender Arcade Hack going. And that eventually got released um, on cartridge. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> He's uh, a silly cat. <laughs> um, and, and you can buy that in the um, in the Atari Age store right now, the, the hack that he did for it. Um, uh, it, Defender uh, Arcade is a significantly improved version of the original Defender produced by Atari. Um, and then I was looking up the history of Pac-Man Plus and Defender. Um, and in 2015, he was working on this game. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, six years ago, uh, he said, uh, uh, thanks, Defender is kicking my ass. I thought I was ready, but I think I start to need to put it aside for a while like I did with mm -hmm. Frenzy until I feel I can get past the issues. Um, and then in 2016, uh, he posted his work in progress version of Defender um, that he was uh, working on. Um, th just keep in mind, the new one's gonna be start from scratch. Like it's not gonna be this, this version that's not playing. Um, <laughs> Which is what happens. Oh no! Just needs yeah. That's fine. Maybe it's not uh, not gonna work on this card. Anyway, you guys. We'll can, see. We'll you see. guys can play it. Oh. I'll let it run, but I don't think it'll work. Because it, um, it's just 
it's blank screen. Um, but you can download this on, on the Atari Age forums. Uh, here's some unfinished games that will likely stay that way unless somebody can pick up the ball and run with it. Uh, so this the version from 2016 that he posted, uh, you're able to fly around and shoot the non-moving, non-shooting enemies. Okay. Uh, that, and they would just reappear after you shoot them all. Mm. So that like, it wasn't really playable. Mm. You, mm. you could move around and fly around. Yeah. Um, uh, is it going to be released as Defender or change the name to a synonym? Well, he usually keeps the names. Mm. Pac-Man Plus keeps all the original names as far as I've seen on his stuff. Um, and so he posted in 2019 about the game. I can switch away. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll load up the other one while I'm talking. So you can, guys can stare at it some more. Um, <laughs> Uh, in 2019, he posted a subject looking for ideas about the player shot in De Defender. He said, so in keeping in spirit with Defender, I, when I get back to working on it, I'm looking for ideas on how to do the player shot on screen. And there's some discussions about that. So uh, he'll be working on this. As, as long as I don't, don't get a cease and desist. It, it, I think it really does depend on the, um, the company. Mm how angry they get <laughs> uh, about various uh, people working That's on true. ports. That's true. If it's the big N, then no. No, not a chance. You get found out if you have any amount of notoriety about your game. Um, they they get a whiff of it and they send out the letters mm -hmm. right away to scare you. Mm -hmm. Um... You can name it Fender. <laughs> Fender. Just Fender. Just be, it can just be like a classic car floating right. in the sky. <laughs> or just apostrophe Fender. <laughs> just, yes. Yeah, yes. Fender. You want to play some Fender? <laughs> yeah. Defender. I Defender. like that. Defender. <laughs> like That's that. good, too. Um, okay. Paris. So, the next game. Uh, we're, so, keep Defender. your keep your eyes out for this yeah. game coming up. That's exciting. I'm going to have to practice exciting. Defender. The Fender. Um it always was very difficult game on the 2600 for me it just died because you're able to move so fast yeah and the one on 2600 the guys kind of followed you as you moved and yes. it was very strange movement yeah it was super super weird mm. um your cousin from boston fenda fenda, fenda. you want to play some fenda <laughs> uh okay so we're gonna play uh frenzy uh, slash Berserk next. Um, this is from 2013. Um, but I have... Uh, no, you guys know what that looks like. We don't need to bring up YouTube videos of that. Mm. Um, but I have some pictures to show you mm. of it. Um, because he did originally release a cart version of the game. A limited, uh, a limited release of it. Of like 20 of them, I think. So we'll take a look at that. I had all these stupid things open. And then my computer crashed. And then he had to, he has to have find to them again. <laughs> find them all again. I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to run right back while you okay. talk about this. Hold run. On. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, click. So there, he made a uh, frenzy. Let's see. Uh, September 2000, 29th, 2013, um, and he two of them were in Coleco shells, which is very interesting, for the for a 7800. It's probably the only game that was ever put in a Coleco shell for the 7800. Uh, did the Big N ever shut down Super Mario Brothers crossover? I haven't even heard of that. Uh, Flash game on Newgrounds. Well, they probably weren't selling it, so they probably weren't too getting too excited about that. Um, and then the next thing I found out about uh, Frenzy and um, and Berserk is that there. I don't know if you guys ever remember the new ColecoVision uh, mini tabletop games. Um, but after Bob, 
uh, put this out on the 7800. I don't know how it happened um, that this came about, mm. but Bob pro reprogrammed Frenzy and Berserk for the NES. And it was released, not released, but it was it was going to be put on those shells, those new ColecoVision shells. For the, the NES version of those games. They used an NES emulator, emulator. wrapper oh. to... What's he doing? Psst, 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 bad cat. Um, <laughs> to put it on these, uh, these, uh, these little tabletop games. Oh. Um, so they put it on Kickstarter, which unfortunately didn't make it to their goal. Oh. Um, this oh. was, but it looked really, really cool. Yeah. Especially yeah. the colors, right? You got yeah. the red and the black there. Oh. Um, and I've got a, a number of these, these old ones. Mm -hmm. So everybody's pretty familiar with that. Um, mm -hmm. So they looked really, really cool. Mm -hmm. And from the screenshots of the gameplay, it looks exactly like the 7800 version. Um, just mute that. So there it is, Bob nice. Decker's Enzo, right? Frenzy. There you go. There's Berserk. And here is, oh, there was another video somewhere of the Frenzy one. Went too far. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. And there, Bob Decker's Enzo. Even though it doesn't mention his name in the the listing, it is there. Mm. Ah! Very loud, sorry. NES on a chip, I would guess. Mm. Wouldn't need an emulator. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And from this, I did not know this, but I knew about it. Um, let's see... Around the same time before these were put out, they put out two other ones. One was Robotech, and one okay. was Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright, really? I don't know if you remember that. This was a couple years ago. Rainbow Bright game. Rainbow Bright tabletop game. Oh, I, I don't even know that. That's crazy. Bob made the Rainbow Bright oh, game. Oh, nice. <laughs> I did not know that Bob nice. made the Rainbow Bright game. I love Rainbow uh, Bright when I was a kid. That was part, what is part of this lineup. And those oh. did come out. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there it is. There's oh, the Rainbow Bright game. Nice. That is amazing. That is nice. So because the these two didn't come out, mm. um, he released the NES version of it okay. in the Atari Age form. So you can oh. actually go and download the oh, NES cool. version. Uh, Robotech was never released as an NES game in North America, only Japan as Macross. Mac Macross. Ah. In a strange way, I wonder if these would be more popular if the screens and mechanics were more like the 80s tabletops. Mm. Po I, I'm more inclined to buy them if they are modeled after the original ones because I've got a, a, a whole set of them upstairs that are like the original ones where it's all boop, 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 like yeah. moving like that. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're made like that rather than just, oh, it's we're just going to throw something on a screen yeah. that you could just play somewhere else. Yeah. The VFT. VFD uh, screens were awesome. Mm. Yes. Um, so there's a lot of unnecessary <laughs> background about these games, but it's all tied in. Mm. Um, I thought that was just really, really cool that mm. they were going to put these on, on those systems. On the systems, and they look exactly like the 7800 version mm. um, because they use the same chip, 6502, on the uh, uh, NES. Mm. Same, same chip as the Ataris. Really? Which is very cool. On yeah. the NES? Yes. Hmm. Yep. I did not know. Yep. Um, hmm. Okay. On with the show. Uh, so let's load up Berserk slash Frenzy. Ah, Pac-Man Plus. Thank you. It would have been cool if it had it funded. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, yes. These things don't always work out, but uh, no, they, they do look really cool. Yeah. I love the boot logo. It's great. Yeah. Looks Look at so that good. Rainbow Mount Fuji. There we go. So uh, let's start off with Berserk because that's the earlier one. Okay. And the more simple one to understand how to play. So. So pick from the 
from there. Frenzy, change it to Berserk. Oh, I see. Um, two alternating. One player, two alternating. Yeah. Okay. Let's just start off with that. That little tune is from Vectrex. That's where I know it from. Ah, not good at this game. <laughs> oh, no. Really not good at this game. <laughs> and this has voices. Nice. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Nice. Oh, I'm purple. So don't touch the walls. Don't touch the... Don't the, let them shoot you. On the first screen, they don't shoot you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And, oh, and they kill each other, too. They're very I like silly. that. Oh, you can diagonal shoot, too, which is awkward. Uh, it's very advantageous. Uh-oh. Otto is coming to kill us. Oh, can I get is one more guy? Yep. Evil Otto. Oh. oh, didn't catch that one. Now they shoot. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to be very careful when they're close by. Very, very careful. I'll run into walls. Um, so this build is from uh, December 17th, 2013. You can mm. leave the room <laughs> without shooting anything. No, I shot one thing. Oh, okay. good. You don't have to shoot them all, though. You just no. Have to figure out where you want to go. But right? you definitely want to be near an exit. Um, ah! Hi, it oh, no. really fast. Cat, and the cat right. attacked you, too. Cat butt right to the head. <laughs> <laughs> I have a chicken. Fight like chicken a robot. Chicken fight too. like a robot. Nice. What are you doing? Watch that cat. What are you doing? Stop it. He's looking for chewing things. What are you trying to chew? No, he's looking for treats. Oh. He's, he's like, where's the ding 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 treat time? That was terrible. Yeah. Oh, cat. Stop it. Very long extra. <laughs> Yes, yes, I have that in my notes, um, that this was made in cooperation with the person who programmed mm -hmm. the arcade version, Alan McNeil. Kitten! It's bad. Um, so he got the source code from the arcade, for the arcade, from the person who made the arcade machine and who helped him uh, uh, with, with uh, some of the programming. Ooh. Is it something in the air? Yeah, nostalgic. I don't know what's wrong with these cats. What are you looking for? Anything. He's looking for treats, I think. Food. Cat! He's out of he control. Is, he is out of control. Oh, I gotta get away from him. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, it's just too close. You can't be that close. You're just gonna die. It's a hard game. It yeah. really is a hard game. Was it on? There is no that was normal. It. Uh. Let's play it together. Oh, go back. No, I didn't do anything. Uh, Berserk. Yeah, cooperative. Can we shoot each other? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the bad news. All right, do we have to go out the same exit? No. Just, I think it's the first one to exit. Mm. Which is, oh no, it's two. Both exits separately. Very smart. And it blocks off the exit. Weird. From the other that person. That doesn't sound very corrupt. Ah. Zap, zap, humanoid? Is that what it said? <laughs> zap, zap, humanoid. Ah, oh, he's, he's fast. He's a coming. Our cats were pretty wild. Yeah. It's the catnip is in the air. Luckily, luckily it, it put me it beside an open one. It is getting close to uh, Halloween. Yeah, one of our cats is black, so he's already well, in he's got dressed up. On, yeah. Yeah. He's got his tuxedo on. He always has his tuxedo on. Oh, you beat me. Bouncing ball! Yeah. I love that he has a happy face and he's the most menacing thing in this game. I... <gasps> oh, God, sorry. You shot me! <laughs> What is it? Zap that chicken? Is that oh, what he God. said? Oh no! So hard! There's a lot of voices going on. We're gone! <laughs> oh, I'm on my last life. Ah! Oh, guy right there. Oh, he got me. The, I thought the 2600 version was really good. Yeah. Um, Ramirez says co-op is a great option. It makes this game really fun. It yeah! Does. It adds a lot to it. 
and I've been seeing that kind of thing. Oh, right beside each other. Very dangerous. Did you just shoot oh, me? No, I didn't. Did you touch me? Oh, Are we allowed yeah. to touch each other in this, or we both so. get zapped? I got zapped. So. I got zapped. Yeah, adding co-ops. Let's let's do co-op again. again. Oh, sorry, I started it. Oh Stop no, that's the right chilling. one. Uh, it's nothing for me to shoot. I'm out of here. Whoa, that was close. I know, I almost <laughs> cut that corner there. Yeah, you come here and you lay down. Yay, calm cat. Adding uh, uh, two players to games is such a cool option for homebrews, where there is not two players in the game ever. Oh, you're going to have to go up the middle. Uh, oh, I am. <gasps> Run! Uh, Run! In Frenzy, you can shoot him. In this, you cannot shoot him. Oh, really? Yep. Whoa, I just barely made him. Menacing, menacing bouncing ball. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I hit the wall! Come on! It's garbage. Come on. Fight like a robot. Like your boss says. Uh oh, uh oh, he's coming from the bottom. I got it. There we go. I like in co-ops you close the door. Too bad the second player is too slow. <laughs> too slow. Oh god, we're starting the same spot. Oh, I'll get him. Oh, gosh. I was gonna shoot him. You. Mm. I almost shot you. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. They do shoot each other, too. Which is nice. Which is funny. And they run into walls. They're, they're not... They're not good. <laughs> they just go for you. I'm going to uh, attempt a co-op mode in my lock and chase. Oh, God. I look at the chat. That is really awesome. I guess I can go back the way I came. Yeah, if it's open. Lock and Chase. I played a ton of Lock and no, Chase. You ran away from me. Because my friend had uh, a, um, a 2600 and he had that game. Ooh. Whoa! He shot you, not me. You going I'll leave you. I'll leave you that door. Thank you. Because I'm further ahead than you. Oh God, he's <gasps> right next to me. What the hell? What the hell was that? Does he always appear in the same spot? I had no option but to go that way anyway. He didn't even touch me. <laughs> there was like black pixelage around me. That's not fair. Here, run into the wall. Come on, come on. Run into it. Come on, come on. Or come down here. Oh. Ah. Bonus. Unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Might not work out. Some technical challenges too. Yeah, when you add... Oh, God. <gasps> oh. Did I shoot you? No, he shot me. I just was trying to get past him, and I didn't. When you add two players into a game that was never meant for two players at once, sometimes it creates chaos, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you play one more by yourself, so okay. I can read a bit. Berserk? Yeah. Um, so, when he first posted <laughs> about this, said, Hi, guys, I've actually been working on this uh, as well. Started from scratch after finding an algorithm for drawing the mazes online. I can't promise this will be completed, as it all rides on the CPU time it takes to do all the necessary collision detection. Uh, what stopped development on this the last time was the CPU time it took to do all the, the collision detects. I have an idea that I'm going to try also handling difference on different frames will be help, a help. Being that a player moves once every four frames, I've split the time into frame one, player one, frame two, even number robot, frame three, player two, Frame four, even odd numbered robot. Um, very cool. Um, and then he was uh, talking about collision detection in this, where he was de at first detecting the whole bullet, and then he thought of an idea to just detect the first pixel of the bullet, which was very smart, because that's what's going to hit. Very unlikely that the last pixel of the bullet will hit somebody's mm. foot. So I thought about taking all seven X and Y coordinates of each shot and moving through the entire object list at once, checking the X and Y values of each shot. What made this easier is I only take the tip of the shot. So there's a single set of X and Y coordinates for each shot object to check against. And he said, I have something to share with you guys. Alan McNeil 
has been kind enough to be helping me with this ported Berserk Frenzy. Hence, thank you on the splash screen of the game. I didn't really mention him in this thread because I wasn't sure he wanted me to. But the best line of all was his response. You can mention me. We're trying to finally get a real version of Frenzy on Atari. So he was not a fan of the 2600 version. And then Alan posted later in the thread his only post ever on Atari Age. Um, Hi, I'm the Alan McNeil that designed the games. Bob contacted me quite a while back when just starting the project. I'm advising and suggesting changes to his pro to this project. Glad to see my old games finally make it onto an Atari in a decent version. This is fun for me because it's a lot less work suggesting a change than coding it. Glad to see a few players out there still want to play the classics. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we're still playing them, Alan. Alan unfortunately passed away um, two years ago. Oh no. Yeah. Um, a hint that Alan said is that it isn't the round number uh, or time that makes auto come out faster. It's the amount of time you stand still that makes auto come out faster to get you going. So you want to keep moving if you can. Oh god. Oh god, you're so close to them. <laughs> like an oh, ah! Yeah. Don't shoot, just run. Just run. <laughs> if I remember correctly, auto usually appears where you start, which. Uh, yes, he which does, I does think. it in co op mode? I don't think it did in one of, at least one of the screens in co op mode. It might be. I don't know what it's based on. It's random Pac Man Plus says. So you could be heading for an exit, and that's where he appears, which is what happened to me. Yeah. My turn. There you go. Then we'll play nice. Frenzy after this. Yay. Which is like an extension of I always feel like Bonus. this Berserk has uh, a little bit of, what is it, Robo? Robo? Robotron. Robotron in it? Robotron was inspired, actually, yeah, by this. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's a different style of game, but... Just the movement of the robots and how they shoot and everything just reminds me so much of um, yes, yeah, of of uh, Berserk. So. I had Gary Stern sign my NES port. I made a cart of it. Mm. Ah, ah, very cool. Yeah, if you're gonna make an NES game, you might as well put it on a cart, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Die. Oh, get a little chance to shoot him. Yay, bonus! Probably get a little bit bonus, more bonus. Each level if you clear it. Mm. It's not much. Ah, ah, ah. It is a very chaotic game. It, especially when it starts you in the middle of like... Oh, thank you. That was a big help. Nope, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos is fun. It is. Ah! Good to clear out your immediate vicinity. Oh god. Oh thank you. And they get ah ah oh mm. gained a bonus loss. Oh bonus is relative to the number of robots on the screen. Oh I see if there are so, a lot. So the yeah. more robots you start with, the more the bonus. Oh, right by now. Oh, I think I'll stick around this exit. Let them kill themselves. Because you do get points for that. Yeah. Uh, okay, you guys get in a row. Come on. No, you come down here. Come down here. No, they're not taking the bait. Thank you, Neo Media. Thank you so much for subscribing. Run, 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 run. Bonus plus yeah. dead. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Okay, I gotta get over to the next exit. Hey, there's some games where. What is it? Dying is part of the strategy to get a high score, so... Yeah. Uh, what was that cheaty, cheat, cheat move? He went up and... Oh, yeah, no, He no, shot through the wall. You can tell by the angle. Oh, and that was even cheatier. Hey, put it right beside me. <laughs> you saw that. He shot through the wall. I can't yeah. shoot through the wall. The best wall. thing is when you lose your last life and then the robot kills itself and you get an extra life. Yeah, that, that would be a oh, pretty good one. Oh, that would be it. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the game? The hard game? Life. The, the drop in the bombs game. Is it that one? Oh, where yes. The actual, like, 
it's part of the game to S die. Slowing it down is, is a strategy because when you die, it slows and yeah. It's right up on my shelf. Kaboom. Kaboom. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now we play Frenzy uh, 2 alternating at first. Berserk? Frenzy? Frenzy. Two, uh, two competitive? Uh, alternating. So you get to a feel of it on your own. Uh, alt, no, Frenzy to alternate. Okay, I, I'm like, Meh. Okay, you can shoot. Okay, shoot everything, but be careful. Uh, bullets bounce off straight walls. So you can use that to your advantage. Um, and you can shoot through the, the roundish walls. Is there an auto? Uh, yes, oh. but you can shoot him. Oh my gosh, why can't I shoot this guy? It's going through him. It is going through him. He's made of bones. I don't know. There you slow. go. Oh, he's slow. Uh, I think the only downside with how faithful this is, the arcade, is that the pixel-thin shots are hard to see when they're dark colors. Yeah. Ah, they... Ah! At least they are an unmodified in a modern TV. It's pretty, pretty dark. Especially, yeah, the red... Ah! Wait! What shot me from above? Oh, it shot you me from shot... below. Oh, it reflects it. It reflects it. It reflects, yeah. Uh, so you got to be really careful. But you can do that. Use that to your advantage. Oh, right hand like, to the left hand side. You watch that. You can yeah. shoot through the round ones. Gotcha. See? Oh, that's, that's... And you can't die from those walls. But you can from the other ones. I think so. See, he's going right through the I skeleton. know. He's very hard to hit. What is that? It's like, it goes through his rib cage or something. <laughs> Come on, one more. And auto. He gets mad. Oh, I'm gonna leave. You can shoot yourself, yes. Mm -hmm. You can make your own exits. That's true. Yes. Like, I can make an exit here if I wanted to. Oh, it's, oh it, it shot you. The red is very hard to very see. Hard yeah, to I was, see. I was, I was, I was, uh, that wasn't going well for me either. Ah! Oh, the shot goes through the player's neck in this one, too. Yes. You see that tiny little space oh. in your neck? It goes through the player's neck? Yeah, so if oh. you time it, it's very hard to do. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, skeleton. Yeah, that is not the angle to hit the skeletons at. No. For sure. From the side is much better way to hit skeletons. Oh. oh, I was trapped in there. Kind of trapped. Oh, oh. come on! How can he shoot me and I can't <laughs> shoot him? It's going right through his foot! Is that in the arcade too, where you can't shoot the skeletons from below very easily? The 7800 sprite machine at work! Yeah, there's a lot mm -hmm. of sprites mm -hmm. on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen here. Ah! Oh. It's, it's very hard to see the red You're on the You're heading black. right into. Oh, it's, I know, but I don't know where else to go. <laughs> no flicker. No, no flicker. It's awesome. Ah! No! I went down too far. Okay, so let's co op. Is there a frenzy? Frenzy co-op. Yeah. Okay. And we can we can shoot each other, I I presume. Uh yes. Because if you because I think the reasoning he gave in the uh, forums is that if you can shoot yourself, you should be able to shoot the other person, even in co-op mode. Yeah. Almost closed. I'm gonna win. Ah! Winner was number one. Pole was rigged. Rigged from the very beginning. Ah! Thank you. All the CRT, <laughs> all the CRT people. Oh, I'm back. Die! Die! I can't get him! 
Oh god, why did I do that? I knew it as soon. <laughs> Skeleton bones shooting right through them. I know. Make your own exit. <laughs> Get mm -hmm. out. Oh, there we go. Just getting out of here. <laughs> That's a good plan. I will just go out this way. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, it just bounces back and forth. Oh, forever. That's dangerous. Yeah, don't go out that... Uh, oh, no, oh. dust stop. Nice. Uh-oh. Need a lotto. I get mad. Oh. Oh, leave. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing him too much. Skeleton does not like me. Oh, that guy's funny. He's sleepy. I, I shot this guy multiple times. <laughs> he's a skeleton. Do I do anything with this? this oh, he's happy because I died. Look at him. Did he? Oh. Yeah, he's very happy. Skeletons are hard to get. Too skinny. Yes, yep. they are. Oh. The original game like that, too? I, I don't know. Anybody know? I'm sure it is. Like, you wouldn't program it. I'm going to make my own exit because I'm nowhere near anything. Oh, can I go out your exit? Yep. Damn it. Oh, no, you can't. Or can you in this? It's not really an... It does block it off. Yeah, it does when you go through. I think that's usually what happens. Interesting. Oh, my God. Where am I? It's not fair. They're green. <laughs> that's true. That isn't very fair. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, my God. I left. How dare you? Oh, I got to go somewhere else. Oh, my else. gosh. Where are you going to go? You have to uh, shoot your way out. I have to shoot my way out on the right, left-hand side. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> Oh! I don't even know what I did. Eh, eh, eh things Just, are too I tough <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh. Broken. Oh, I'm dead. Pac-Man plus. Oh, that's Help awesome. Bob. Broken. We that got, was cool. We got Pac-Man 256 It's like a screen. lattice work. A lattice work of, um... Still there. Of skeletons. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. This nostalgic goes, um, <laughs> um... Berserk isn't fair, and that's why it's great. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's play... I don't know what... What's competitive? Let's try Frenzy Competitive. Too competitive? Do we shoot each other? Ah, uh, you have an old version. Well, this is, I think, the newest posted in the forums, mm. maybe? I don't have it on cartridge, sadly. So are we shooting each other? I, well, you could shoot each other before. Does that just mean you get points for the other person? Maybe. Oh my god, I hate these things. Ah, no! Uh, would... I need to get you an updated version. Oh, oh, yes, please. It's not a joint score. Oh, is was that it what joint it is? before? I don't know, but maybe it was. But that would kind of make sense. Oh, so that's a known bug. Pac Man. 56 screen. It looks so much like when you get to level 256 in Pac-Man. Oh, this way. Oh, okay. That would make sense. That's what I was kind of thinking. That does make sense. Oh my god. When my bullet was bouncing back and forth up there, I didn't have a bullet. Oh! Ah! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I was shooting because the second guy was there, but they both got taken out with one bullet. That was interesting. Ah! <gasps> oh, got me right away. Oh, me too. Boop! Oh, you, we got saved by one person leaving before the other person fully died. <gasps> <laughs> really? You can kind of yep. save someone then? Yeah. Mm, interesting. But that's weird because this isn't cooperative. <laughs> I guess it's just the score. Yeah. It's just for score. That's the only thing that changes. That guy's very good at dodging. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> well, 
Where am I? Oh my god. Oh, they're my color. I couldn't find myself. I know. That's what happened to me with the green <laughs> ones the last time. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this game is hard. They're fun, though. It's so much fun. Okay. Let's do it again. One more. One more frenzy. In two player, each person has one bullet, whereas the normal mm -hmm. game, one person has two bullets. Oh, what happened? I screwed that up. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die. Just let me die. Oh. Nope. Berserk competitive? Or frenzy. Frenzy. Yeah. I like frenzy better, I think. Well, it's got more stuff going on. Yeah. How, like... That's the same what uh, was done with... Um... Oh, my God. That is being done with Daryl Spice Jr.'s frenzy. I'm just leaving. There's nothing near me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, frenzy Berserk. Um, version as well. He's putting them both together too, because they're very similar. He's like, you, if you can do frenzy, you can scale it down to do berserk. Right? <gasps> so brutal when they're right next to you. <laughs> I know, and they shoot, and they, and the shot reflects, and shoot, move right to make the skeleton move into the. Yeah, that's what I was thinking before I died or left that screen. Oh, you better make your own exit. Oh, I'm good. Okay. I mean, if I was paying attention ah, to the screen, he got me. paying attention to the screen when it first loads up, then it does show who, where you are. Mm. Does there, like that guy just shot a wall. Does he lose his bullet? Just like we lose our bullets? Uh, skeleton is too hard. <laughs> He's vertical. Oh, I was not paying attention, and I didn't see myself at first. And I'm right next to you, which is weird. Don't you? I'm not trying to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm behind you here. Oh, oh no, I went the wrong way. Ah! I think there's a limited bullet pool for all the robots. Ah! That makes sense. Otherwise, they'd all shoot at once. And they'll be really dangerous. But the ones close to you do seem to shoot. Oh, oh like instantaneously. Yeah. Uh, hmm, I'm kind of somewhat trapped in here. Everything is nowhere near me. I'll let you get, take that those guys out. Yeah, bonus it up. Bonus! <laughs> up to seven shots. Oh, we're right next levels. to each other. Whoa. Oh, well, it's all yours now. <laughs> You go get the points. Oh no! Right Not even the wall. close. I didn't touch it. I know. There's black pixels. Uh, hit zones are big. Ah! Oh, I got him. Right away. Come How on. can he? He can hit me right away, and like I can try like 20 times, and it goes right through the skeletons, right through the ribs. Well, if you position it, it can go right through your neck. Yeah, that did happen once. Did it? Yeah, oh, I saw that happen once. I didn't once. see that. Oh, not out yet. Glad that even in the homebrew... <gasps> oh, God. That's oh, the same issue. Uh, Where am I? Let's see if we can survive it. Ah, ah, ah. I need to shoot one more. we got to get out of here. See if what you can, happened? See if you can escape. I don't know. And survive the, the crashy level. Oh, he oh, just shot me. No. I was trying. Let's see what happens next. Oh. oh. How come I don't get to keep playing? Oh, that that's okay. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah. Cat. Oh, sorry, cat. Disturbed. Very disturbed, cat. Awesome, awesome, awesome version mm -hmm. of the game. I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Um. So, let's take a take a look at what's coming up. But let's review the games first. Um. Astro Fighter, early shooter. I enjoyed that Very a lot. hard. It is it was, hard. But I like the variety of and the fact different that types of enemies that move. And a boss, too. And a boss. That boss, feels very... Very modern -ish. Yeah, modern-ish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like modern. that. Modern. <laughs> uh, yeah, it breaks, up, it breaks up the gameplay when there's a boss mm. or some like little that. thing to do. Something that concludes the Treat wave. Treat time's not working. Ding, ding, ding. Treat time. Oh, Carl G, ding, thank ding, you. Ding, ding, ding. 
Ding ding. <laughs> Thank you for saying Just that. Just hit it. Hit it once. <laughs> ding ding ding. Treat time. Good timing. Good yes, timing. thank you, Carl G. That's so weird. Oh well, that's what happens. Because everything crashed. I know, I know. Good oh, kitty. Oh, good kitty is one for you. CRT is the winner. Fifty-eight percent. No, not for 59%. you. Fifty-nine percent. <laughs> not for you. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, Astro Fighter, super awesome. Defender, I'm really looking forward to. It's a great shooter. Mm. It's very high paced action. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun because Bob is awesome at making shooters. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Cat show time. Hit, hit it, hit it. Hit it. He put his paw on it, but sometimes it doesn't quite ding. Or he hits the side. You're too close to it. Here. Ding it. There you go. There, good kitty. Gets too close. Yeah. Um, and Frenzy, uh, super amazing. Uh, lots of fun. Very hard game. Oh, so need much more, fun, I need though. more practice at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's really, really challenging game. But it's it's really fun. Like, um, I was reading an interview with uh, the uh, arcade developer. And he's like, oh, I dreamt of an idea of a bunch of robots attacking you. But they just but they were just going straight for the forum oh, at first. Yeah. So I was like, this isn't fun. They kill me within seven seconds. Oh yeah. 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 And then he said, Oh, I'll put some walls. And then there you go. There was berserk. And that, uh, that changed the whole game. But then obviously Robotron fixed that wall issue and made it into something very, very different. That's cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, Pac-Man. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Bob. For the games. Thank you so much for the games. So much fun. We're slowly making our way through Bob's back catalog. Yes. Um, but I, like I, large. I typed before the show that he keeps making new games. Yeah. So it's impossible to catch up because <laughs> he makes so many amazing games. Um, so really looking forward to uh, playing more games because mm -hmm. we still have more of his games to play. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to do a Pac-Man day because we still haven't played his Pac-Man games yet. Not all of them. So we'll do that. We'll I do love that one. Pac-Man, so I'm happy to play. Oh, it's it's all done. All Phaser done. Phaser Cat Games. It's like trying to read all Stephen King's books. Yes. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> yeah. if you haven't started, that's an impossibility. It's an impossibility. I think. Yeah, You'll yeah. probably so not true. make it. Yes. Uh, Pac-Man Plus Marathon. Mm -hmm. Well, if we do the, probably do a Pac-Man marathon mm -hmm. of his games and do all the Pac-Man games. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are awesome, Bob. You're the one making the games. <laughs> We're just yeah. playing them. Yeah. We're just having fun like everyone it's else. It's awesome yeah. to have content. That's it all is. I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> Your it games is are, awesome. are always, always a lot of fun. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so coming up on the show. <gasps> Halloween see. is coming. Yeah. And two Very more excited. episodes. It's going to be Halloween show. But mm. first, the next one, if they don't delay it again, because they've delayed it twice now, okay. which is fine. Yeah. You know, they have to finish up. Yeah. Prince of Persia for the Atari 8-bit. It looks like a lot of fun, and I'm pretty pro probably dedicating a whole episode to that mm. because it's it's a fairly lengthy-ish um, adventure-type game, mm. um, and it's really, really, really uh, cool. Awesome games. Yes, very awesome games today. I keep trying to download the internet, but the progress bar keeps moving backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, then we are, next Friday, we're having the Halloween homebrew special with exclusive secret world premiere from Mick Crocker. I'm very excited. Mick Muse, mm -hmm. who made Deep Stone Catacomb, which I'm very, very yeah. excited and looking forward to. He did post a sneak preview of that where it's this pumpkin head, a very well-designed pumpkin oh, head. Oh, really? Yes. Ooh, and it okay. had two colors in the same line. So either that's just for the title screen. Mm. Or he's not using any play field and no balls, and he's using a ball for the background of the pumpkin mouth, I think it was, or something. Um, either way, it's amazing design. Mm -hmm. They they started a pretty promising Prince of Persia for 2600, then dropped it. Yeah, there was some really nice Prince of Persia stuff, and I did that like a couple years ago, showed off the bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. They had the animation down perfect for 2600. All the movements, unbelievable. Maybe somebody will pick it up again. Um, and they had the, the screen as well, and it looked just amazing for the 2600. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing some scary games. <laughs> scary games. On Halloween. Anything that jumps out at me is scary, so. Yeah. Um, Flashing. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, don't know, on the 2nd of November, then the 5th of November, we're going to actually have an interview, uh, with Muddy Funster, mm. Lewis Hill, mm. and have a secret, exclusive secret world premiere of his new game. That's awesome. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, we're going to be playing Crazy Balloon one day nice. for high scores. And, nice. And then a couple of weeks later on November 16th. We're going to have a bunch of exclusive world premieres mm -hmm. of an, some Atari 8-bit games. Nice. Um, from Eric Anschwitz, Robert Anschwitz, and John Weisgerber. Nice. Uh, a group of people who have been making Atari 8-bit games since the 80s. Mm -hmm. And now they're redoing all their old games that they made in BASIC in assembly, assembly yep. and re-releasing it. Um, and, uh, then what else? We also have, uh, it's unscheduled yet, but it'll be coming up soon. Exclusive secret world premiere from Matt Smith, MK Smith, a new 7,800 game as well. And, uh, then we have the holiday homebrew special on the 24th of December. Very appropriate. Mm -hmm. Uh, day. Uh, then we have the Atari Homebrew Awards on the February 12th. Yeah. Yep. I may take the 24th off anyway, so oh. uh, we could probably do Ooh. it in the morning. And people might appreciate that because yeah. people tend to do quite a few things on the 24th. That, so. that is a morning show. I'm sure Darcy won't be here for that. Oh, probably, yeah. I just haven't changed that, so yeah. we'll probably just keep it noon. Yeah. yeah, so I can take that I can take that off and we yeah. can do it earlier in the day. So yeah. And I have penciled in <laughs> already. Atari 2645th birthday marathon. Oh, <laughs> for for in February. September. February. Oh, September of next year. Sorry. September next year, nice. so a year away. Mm. Uh, so the 2600 turns 45 that year in September because it was released in September. Yeah. And we're going to be playing every single game released by Atari, Activision, 20th Century Fox, Absolute Entertainment, Apollo, CBS, Coleco. Data Age, wow. Epics, and Magic, <gasps> M Network, Parker Brothers, Sega, SpectraVision, Starpath, Telesis, US Games, Sonox, and wow. Zymag. That's a lot. It's not going to be in one day. <laughs> it's going to be over a week or two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Charles Whelan, that will be epic. <laughs> yes. And we're going to be doing, doing them in order of release date. Okay. So we'll be starting with... Oh my gosh. Okay. Combat. <laughs> the pack-in game. Nice. It's going to be with a timer, just like we did with Vitoko. Okay. He, brought, he brought that up there. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's going to be five minutes each. Wow. Um, high score tracker for Fall 400 games. <laughs> yeah. If somebody wants to do that, go for it. Mm. Um, some of them will be playing for the first time ever. I'm sure, yeah. I have definitely not played every, every single, single 2600 game. game. No, no. Played no. a lot of them. Obviously, the Activision games... <laughs> it's gonna be a long it's gonna be a show. Long show. Yeah. Yes. No, it'll be spread out. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Probably four episodes. Okay. Something like that. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So I have a lot of time to plan it out, get the order. I found a good web page. Okay. That has uh, the order of the games approximately. Some of them I'm gonna have to fudge because nobody has the info. Skeet shooting will be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. Uh, let's see what you do five minutes with basic programming. <laughs> Not a lot. Uh, uh, 10, print, high, 20, go to 10. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, then uh, next year, we're going to have the multiplayer marathon mm -hmm. as well. Uh, playing Mule, Electro Ball, Medieval Mayhem, mm. Beer Pong, Warring Worms, Vroom, and we'll be adding more to that as well. Mm. Of all the awesome four-player and two-player competition games. Yes, that'll be fun. And yeah, I guess yep. you, you don't know exactly when you want to do that. No, it'll definitely it'll be, be next post, year. Post um, Homebrew Awards? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Because all of January... Is, is kind of getting ready and yeah. is showing off all the nominated games yeah that's true that's true actually it could be early january but i'll be too busy anyway for that time so yeah. it'll be after february at least it'll be so past homebrew but hopefully not too far past yeah february march probably. once you've taken a little break yep and uh yep 
And some... Well, we were going on vacation in late February, so... Oh, uh, yes. So probably post that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then sometime in December, we're going to be doing ZPH the game, mm -hmm. Zero Page Homebrew the game, uh, the release and the giveaway mm. of that. Um, don't probably be late December. Mm. I would like to order them and get them here uh, on cartridge form. That means I have to do this immediately. <laughs> At least plan out the the uh label for the cartridge oh, okay yeah 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 get that to al yeah see if he has time yeah <laughs> probably <laughs> not <know>. <laughs> anyway yeah. we're gonna make 10 of them uh five for us five to give away okay and if i don't have them in time i can still give them away yeah and show you the label and everything yeah yeah that's fair yeah yeah cats stinking up the house yeah hi kitty come here come say hi and bye just found there was a Vroom game for some computers. Really mm. interesting. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight mm -hmm. to see the reveal of Defender and to watch us play some games. Thanks, Bob. Thank for, you so much, For Bob. being in the chat and, th and for yep. the games. And uh... Yeah. Looking forward to playing more of his games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. Vitoko, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Charles Whelan, Miss Command, Dan ABC, Captain Classic, uh, S. Ramirez, Pac-Man Plus Atari Age, especially, Bob, thank you. Neo Media, Miss Command, I think I said that. S. Ramirez, Phaser Cat Games, Carl G. Who else? Who else? Crossbow on vacation. That's why he's watching. Um, oh, did I see that? Yes, Neo Media? yes, yes, yeah, subscribe, thank you. Yeah. Two months total. Uh, a lot of the same people. Danny VC. Danny VC. Oh, we're at the top. All right. Woot. And uh, yes, you're very welcome, Crossbow. Thank mm -hmm. you for tuning in. And uh, so everybody have a good night and have a good weekend. And we'll be back on a Tuesday. That's right. So um, we will see everybody. Atari is here to say good night. Yeah, that's good night. <laughs> that's good night. Not a squeal because he doesn't want to be picked up. No, no. Squeal. Yeah. So no. um, we'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Good weekend. <laughs> <laughs>